Hey guys, welcome back to more Oil Rush. We're on the last mission of Chapter 2 Frozen Hell, Stealing Steel. Kevin and Firefly leave the main force behind and go on, on a quick recon mission in search of the helicopter base. The plan is to locate the position and turn with a heavy escort. As they explore the region, they come across an abandoned platform with a single helicopter resting on the land pad. However, the building their luck, they decide to steal it while no one is around. However, when waves of enemies start rolling in, the helicopter turns out to be malfunctioning to realize that they're falling into a trap. So here, we get our f the first kind of tower defense mission in this game. Um, tower defense is... its n The game isn't really designed for tower defense, um, because the wave, I guess it is in some ways and isn't in other ways. Every tower defense game, they kind of send waves and you have to know, but in this, it's pretty much like you have to know which they're sending because you know you either have to have air defenses or you have to have um, artillery. So having the right mix is the main way to win. The only way to win it on hard difficulty is to know the exactly right mix, play it like 20 times and get the right mix. Um, otherwise, I played on easy. I actually, the reason the difficulty says easy is here instead of hard is I played one earlier and did really well, got to the last wave, and had the wrong mix and got wiped. So, um, just gonna try again. We unlock artillery in tower 3 and barricade. Barricade's kind of useful, and you can use it on an opponent's tower, which can be really useful. So, it repairs towers, makes them invulnerable, but unable to fire for the duration. So, what you can so, pretty much makes your def your platforms defended, but they can't shoot or anything. Which is it is it is what it is. It's okay, not very useful for defense. Maybe it wasn't the brightest idea to leave our forces without anyone in command. This flight took much longer than expected. Commander's gonna rip my head off. Looks like we've got a more serious problem than your head. Check the radar. We're trapped. I won't give up so easily. Even without our units, we can still put defensive towers around these forts. Okay. Yeah, what happened in the last mission is I couldn't remember how um, the towers built at all. Like, I totally had no recollection. Remember, I think. So, um, I've re kind of thought of a strategy. So, I'm gonna put all bunkers at the back. All I kind of had the splattering of artillery and bunkers. But what happens is you get the really heavy stuff come out of here, like angler boats and stuff. And then at the end, you kind of only have piranhas and other stuff left at the end. So, I'm gonna totally leave just bunkers and stuff right at the edge, and then all the people get. Here, it's actually quite important to level up and get more power in your towers. So the only important thing to remember here is whatever is left here has to be killed by these towers. So anything that makes it through has to, has to, has to be killed by your towers. So here, there's going to pass. Lightly, just no problem. Lightly, gingerly through. Next, okay, actually, I should start saving up money for the next wave. They're gonna start sending air units, so we're gonna want upgraded towers to deal with those air units. And the and only way we have right now is this level two, level two and three bunkers, so. And if something gets too damaged, you can always upgrade it to stop it from being destroyed. You never want all your bunkers to be upgraded at once as well, which you probably already know. So it's just gonna upgrade the spurts. Oh, here we go. One upgrade there. Yeah, so we have a lot of anchor ships in this wave.
kind of in the direct fire plan, but I don't know what to I think we should have enough firepower in these three to take out the remaining. Because it still does damage the angler ship, so. Boy, he's like, it's right there. Guess I should have to just save money. That one's gonna get really hit hard. Yeah, we need a lot more. What if that tower bomb got destroyed? Oh. We really need more nade artillery towers. Yeah. Get them. Now we're getting some tower to, like more armor to towers. Need a lot two towers, so they're sturdy enough to take this beating. One tower's here mostly. I'm gonna look at those. I think the probably the air is the next wave, but if it's not, then we'll have even more powerful defenses. Nope, then it was not. It's even further in the future wave. Oop. Sell that tower. Not like that tower. Yeah, we didn't get a lot for selling that tower, but. So yeah, one thing you can do is use this and, and like it costs 30 oil but it can save your towers which can save you a pretty considerable chunk of change. But the upgrades I think is still a very good idea. So we will be yeah. And here come our planes, which we are prepared for, so they're not going to be that big of a deal. After this wave, it won't be that bad of a deal to upgrade all these towers to level 3, because there's quite a few planes, and if you can kind of quench your losses here, it will go a long way. Or I think don't think quench your losses very far, but kind of decrease your potential losses as well as you said. Again, you don't want all your towers upgrading at once. Uh, hopefully they'll be done. Probably not. But if we get one more, we can do one thing. I screwed that up and lost. Oh, I only lost one of my towers in the world then. Will it be done in time? Should be, but 20 seconds. Plus, I have these towers as defense. So. And they really pile down planes once. Like, watch how quickly this plane. <laughs> the second after it arrives, it's dead. Really powerful at destroying aircraft, and you need it when the stingrays start arriving later on. Stingrays are those planes with the big guns attached. Now that I kind of have the, the strategy down, it's a lot easier for us, but. Kind of get it repaired and upgraded. Pop up one tower and upgrade them. Did 
That's why they're a little bit more powerful on the front lines there. And see, yeah, only prawns left, which we will chew up pretty quickly here in these towers. We kind of want to have mostly level 2 bunkers and not that many level 1 bunkers because level 1 bunkers aren't useful at all against planes. So kind of enter the cinematic view as they get shot at and then instantly you can see the puffs in the air as they just absolutely get pounded out of the air. So there we go. And these are all the two bunkers. Set there. There are dozens of them, and they still keep coming. So there. So yeah. Easy. You kind of, if you have this pattern down, you'll kind of get it on hard. It comes. A little bit harder because on hard you some way you have to sell and buy build certain towers. I'd rather buy and sell certain towers. Lots of Oops. I did accelerate construction instead of barricade. So I want the tower to be prepared. So here a couple got through, just because we didn't have adequate towers. Yeah, we don't have anti-air towers yet. But I did it get some good. So now we have Stingray helicopters. Which if we hop over, have 8 damage to Navy. Which is what our... Pretty much anything on the ground is Navy. So... They do very harsh damage. Since we have... Level 3 bunkers. Really punishing. I actually like level 3 bunkers for air over like just the air because, well, firstly, we know level 3 bunkers deal very good damage to, um, how to say it, they do very good damage to ground units, but also could deal good damage. So, like, they, they do navy and air. Where um, the ones only do the other ones only do air. It does seem like I'm upgrading a lot of towers, and I am upgrading a lot of towers, but kind of because. You gotta use your money, you can't just like have excess pools of money. All oh, my towers are good. So now we're gonna get combinations of air and ground units, which our tower um well type of towers we have is pretty bad for that, but I uh, kind of see how it is.
the air unit will eventually get ahead of these units, so it won't matter as much. So, everything is dead. We need to survive two more waves. It's repair vessels. They repair enemy ships while they're in the water. Our defense is starting to fail. He says that no matter what. Um, but parachutes are nasty that effective on this mission, but they come into play later on because they're leading. And that's actually something that you'll learn later on, that you never have the pair of vessels lead the fight. You always have them kind of follow behind your troops. They kind of do it on their own, but kind of useful to know. Also, these are elite units, they are stronger than normal units. Because, computer, as we know, the computer cheats. A lot. Always. So. And one more wave. So. Do you not see even use this one here? So, now we got this bad boy, which is a manta ray. So, these are that's actually a unit you can get, it's an elite unit and the elite units are kind of more, not like the elite units that you just saw, I call them elite units because you can only get them Wow, what kind of engines through. could keep all that armor airborne? Those converter planes are just awe-inspiring, aren't they? I'm more concerned with their guns than their engines. Focus, Firefly! You can only get them through the research tree technology and then you buy them directly with oil. So they're the only units you can buy with oil and kind of let you let you directly control gameplay through oil. Other than that, game oil only affects gameplay through abilities and um, kind of towers. So. That should be all the enemy assault waves. Oh, there's one more. Oops. I could have been using this the whole time. It's the propaganda. It is a good thing to use. Yeah, here it makes it's a point that you can um, do keep your towers up for this last wave. I've actually screwed up on the very last mission because I thought my wave was over, so I didn't build anything. I was like, oh, there's one more wave, and I was sad. Yeah, we should have got propaganda a long time ago. We can use it on our towers or our things to increase the damage. Messed up and messed up badly. Get this infernal machine off the ground. Wait a sec. I'm starting the engine. Finally, I'm gonna get to try out these maneuvers for real. Take so, off now. So yeah, we're definitely. There's no way we can make it back to our fleet. We're cut off. We won't make it past their air defense. Fly south by southwest. If we're lucky, we'll throw them off our tail. Aye, aye, Captain. Hold tight. We're going up. Yeah. So we gained access to a Stingray helicopter. So. So thanks for watching, guys. And we'll be back in our ep next episode for Oil Rush. And this is what the story actually gets starts to get more interesting. Later, guys.